It's thirsty Thursday. You're so thirsty, thirsty Thursday. Thirsty for knowledge, thirsty Thursday. Drink it up. Let me ask you a question. How often do you find yourself saying, I just don't have enough hours in the day? If this is a statement you find yourself saying all too often, then today's Thirsty Thursday is just for you. I've got five practices to help you get out of your own way and get things done. The first thing you have to do to get out of your own way is to make it mental. Author Jen Sincero says, your thoughts and beliefs dictate your reality. So if you are constantly saying, I'm never going to get this done, you're completely right. You have to change your mental attitude and your self-talk so that you can set yourself up for success. The next step to getting out of your own way and getting things done is to create a strategy and track your progress. This means using goals, creating to-do lists, putting together a plan of these are the things that I need to and want to accomplish and how exactly am I going to do that? But we want to make sure we're not overwhelming ourselves. So if we've got big goals, we've got to set some small goals along the way so that we can see our steady progress. If we have a to-do list, we need to pick the top three things on the to-do list that I need to do today in order to feel accomplished. And the most important part of creating a plan and having a strategy is to then track your progress. Celebrate the small wins. What did you accomplish today? What have you achieved? And what is your next step? Ensuring that you are checking back in and really taking account for everything that you have accomplished is the key to staying motivated to get things done. The third practice to help you get out of your own way is to avoid distractions. Many times we find ourselves distracting ourselves with small, less important items because either consciously or subconsciously, we're trying to avoid those major tasks or maybe the things that we feel less confident in achieving. Avoiding distractions like unnecessary emails, text messages, social media encounters can help us ensure that we set aside the time that we need to actually accomplish the tasks that are most important. One of the best ways that you can avoid distractions is know when you work best. We all have a prime time where we are the most productive. And that's the time where you want to tackle those most difficult tasks and zone in. So make sure that you silence any alarms or notifications during that time frame. It doesn't mean that you're going to ignore it all day. You'll get to it but allow yourself that opportunity, those prime time hours to really hone in and focus on that to-do list that you need to be sure you accomplish today. The fourth thing that you can do to get out of your own way and get things done is to recruit assistance. You don't have to do everything yourself and assistance can come in many forms. It can be as small as having an accountability partner someone who checks in on you to ensure that you are following through and completing the tasks and projects that you have committed to. It can be partnering up with a coworker who can take your calls for an hour or two while you focus on the task at hand and then you return the favor and do the same for them. Or it can be mastering the task of delegation. Mastering the art of delegation can be very difficult, but once you've learned it, this is a skill that is very rewarding. If you're looking for more ideas on how to be a better delegator, check out my video, Don't Be a Delegation Diva. So if you want to get out of your own way, recruit assistants, don't be a work hog, share the wealth and reap the rewards. And my last practice to help you get out of your own way is to be realistic. 
People aren't rewarded for being busy. We're rewarded for being productive. So if you want to be productive and promotable, then you have to make sure that you're focusing your attention on the right things. Be realistic and when someone asks you to help with a project or take something new on, if you truly don't have the time, be willing to say no. Ultimately, you are the defining factor of what you accomplish. I'll leave you with this, another quote from Jen Sincero. I think, therefore, I can create awesomeness or horrendousness. Get out of your own way. Choose to be awesome. Choose to be productive. Choose to get things done. And then be like Nike and just do it. Hi, I'm Katie Rigsby, multifamily consultant and speaker, otherwise known as the multifamily maven. I want to personally thank you for watching my video. And if you found this information helpful or encouraging, give it a thumbs up or share it with someone that you know. If you want to get new content fresh off the presses every Monday and Thursday, then go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Be sure to click the little bell so you'll get a reminder and you won't miss out. And while you're on my channel, look through all the past videos and see what else is out there. What kind of topics that you might be interested in. And if you're looking for anything specific, feel free to comment. Let me know what it is that you want more information about or ideas that you're looking for. I'd love to interact with you and give you exactly what it is that you need. So make sure that you like, share, and subscribe so that you can get new, fresh ideas and encouragement from me every Monday and Thursday. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and be inspired.